Hey, this is the third section in our mini stretching series. Each one of our components or sections is roughly only about 10 minutes long. So you can do them pretty much anytime. And uh, let's get started. We are going to move into a forward fold for the hamstrings. So legs out in front of you. Now, oftentimes I see people do this when they're trying to fold forward to do their hamstring stretch. You need to make sure that your back is flat. The point of a hamstring stretch is to hinge from your hips and stretch the back of your hamstrings. Now, if you don't have good hamstring flexibility, I do not, um, you're going to have to try to do a couple different things in order to make sure that you don't do what I call turtle back. So one, you're going to sit up straight. Two, you're going to lead from the chest and pretend there is a board along your back, keeping your back at a diagonal. Keeping your breathing relaxed. Inhale and exhale. Nice and easy. Now, if this is not working for you, you can take your hands and place them on the outsides of your hips and press with your arms. However, it is comfortable. You find the position where your elbows are comfortable, your hands are comfortable, and you press forward. Keep your chest lifted. Keep your breathing relaxed in through your nose, out through your mouth. Your head should be neutral in line with your spine. As you saw, I have a tendency to lift my head even though I know I shouldn't. I don't know if it's just that I'm zoning out or whatever, but I do try to correct myself and make sure that my head is neutral. And then the third possibility, if that is too much, is you can do one leg at a time. You can bring one foot in the foot is not pressed against the knee, it's above the knee, and then you can just reach forward. You could do an additional stretch by placing the hand that matches the bent knee on the knee and pressing down. That way you're also going to stretch all in here on your obliques. You're going to stretch the inside of your hip. And then, of course, whatever you do on one side, you must do on the other. So as we lean forward, I will press my free hand against my bent knee. I will lean forward. I will make sure that I'm not turtle backing. I'm pressing through with my chest, keeping both butt cheeks on the floor. Head is neutral. in through the nose, out through the mouth, and relax. The next pose for hamstrings is going to be gate pose. So that is keeping one leg underneath us, and then you're going to extend the second leg with your heel and the bottom part of your foot actually against your floor one hand on your hip and then you're going to take the opposite hand and you're going to reach over. Dancers do this pose all the time in order to get ready for class. Breathing relaxed in through your nose, out through your mouth. And you should feel that all down the inside of your hamstring as well as all through the outside of your torso up into the arm armpit now I want to make sure that my ear is in line with my shoulders I'm not rotating I'm trying to come over and make a half crescent deep breath in through the nose exhale through the mouth Switch feet. I'm going to scooch over a little bit so I don't go knocking myself off the mat. I'm going to extend my, my other leg. 
Keep my hip in line with my knee. Support on my thigh. Deep breath in. On the exhale, I reach sideways. Ears are in line with my shoulders. I'm not rolling forward. I'm not arching backward. I'm just going straight to the side. Now, because I have problems or more tension on the right side of my body, I can feel this in my knee as well as my hamstring. So if it's too much, I will actually bend my knee a little bit to relieve some of the tension. Nice and easy, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Deep breath in, on the exhale we go ahead and release and come back to neutral. For the hip flexors, we are going to go into bridge and then we will change position and go into a low lunge. So for bridge, we come down to the floor Feet are flat, head is neutral, so my chin is a fist distance from my chest. My lower back is heavy into the floor. I'm going to use the palms of my hands as kickstands or balance or whatever you want to call it. And when I press up, I'm pressing through my heels and pushing against my hip flexors. This should stretch all the way up the front of your thighs, quads. I'm engaging my buns and my abs to do the work, not my back. Keep the breathing relaxed, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep the buns engaged, keep the hamstrings engaged, keep the abs engaged, keep the head neutral. If you feel this in your lower back, take a break. If you feel it in your knees, take a break. Keep the breathing relaxed in through your nose, out through your mouth. Remember, it is all along the back of the leg, and the buns, and the abs that are holding that position. Back by default, but you are not pushing through your back to do this. deep breath in on the exhale we're going to go ahead and release let the back relax for a second let the hips relax for a second and gently roll to the side sit up and now we're going to go into our low lunge so for that we are going to come up on our shins One foot or my left foot will come out in front of me and all I'm going to do is if you see my knee is behind my ankle as I begin I am just going to lean forward enough that now my knee is in line with my front ankle and I can feel that all through my quad in through the front of my hip now if I want to add an extra component to it I would bring my arms up overhead and arch backwards but because my hips are always tight this is plenty for me deep breath in through your nose exhale through the mouth head is neutral unless you're doing the overhead reach nice and easy forward and then we come back deep breath in on the exhale be careful not to move quickly you don't want a charlie horse switch legs bring the right foot out see that my knee is starting behind my ankle and i am just pressing forward until the knee is in line with the ankle stretching the hip flexor of my left leg now down into my quad Abs are tight, head is neutral, breathing is relaxed, in through my nose, out through my mouth. Nice and easy. And 
gentle on the release. Exhale when you come back to neutral. Put down and release both legs. If you have any questions, please let me know. Remember, do not go any further than your body will allow you to go. Pay attention to what it's telling you. Bye.